we're here today at the Darwin Waterfront with Tourism Mentees Manager of Market Development, Richard Schoonrad, to talk about the cruise season which officially kicked off on the 28th of October and it kicked off with a big bang, Richard. A massive bang, Lisa. We've had 8,000 passengers in town this week with four ships visiting in four days. Yeah, it's fantastic and everything looks great down here at the waterfront. We've seen a stream of people uh, flow into the mall as well. So we had the four ship visits in four days, but it's set to be a huge season altogether. Yep, we've got um, 30 ships coming this season. So between now, between the end of October and, and the end of April, we've got 30 ships visiting. It's actually gonna be our biggest cruise ship year on record with 46 ships in total this wow. financial year mm. with a capacity of over 70,000 That's passengers. huge. So that, that's massive for yeah. us. And it's, so it's a record year. How can our local operators and tourism businesses get involved and make sure they really benefit from, like, as you said, 70,000 people coming through here? Yeah, up to 70,000. So the, the key thing is it's important to remember that only, 30, only about 30% of people actually have arranged something before they get here, which is a massive opportunity for local retailers, local tourism businesses. There are 70% of those 70,000 people will be looking for something to do the day they arrive. So it's really important to remember that it's not all about getting into the cruise ship program. That's a great, that's a great step in the right direction but it's also what you can leverage locally is, is very important as well. So what's some tips that, you know, make sure your website's up to date, that kind of thing? Well, first and foremost, your website. Have, have information on your website that speaks to cruise passengers specifically. Um, the cruise passengers will need to know that you can, they can still do your tour and they'll still be back in time to get on the ship. You've got to make sure that, that whatever you're offering, that, that you're back in plenty of time for the passengers to meet their curfew to get back on board the ship. Um, the other thing is to make sure that you're offering experiences that, that really represent the destination, things that can only be done in the top end um, and, and things that reflect our way of life or our experiences to the best of, their, to the best of your ability, but show the passengers some, some, um, some really good value as well. They really, want to get into the, they really want to get into the destination, they want to meet people, they really want to find out what it's like, why this destination is so much different to everywhere else. Now, some, a couple of the highlights from this year's season um, is, well, a lot of the ships will be actually arriving on weekends and public holidays. Is that something to keep in mind as well? That's something to really keep in mind. Um, I think out of the 30 visits we have this cruise season, um, just under half are on Saturdays, Sundays or public holidays. Um, it's really important, again, to remember that 70% of people are wandering around town, so that's an opportunity for retailers to get involved and to leverage that opportunity and, and to sort of get some money through the cash register at a time when traditionally it's quiet period so these you know these people bring a, a bit of an injection at a, at a good time um, Saturdays and Sundays are not a problem public holidays are, are, are probably the biggest issue um, 28th of December is a big one we've got a maiden visit by the Azamara Quest high-end passengers so they've cashed up and they'll, it's their first this is their first port of call in Australia ever so this is their this is their first impression of Australia so it's really important for us to make sure that people retailers in particular and that the town has a bit of a vibe that day as well it's, they're coming on the Boxing Day public holiday on the 28th of December which is going to be a challenge but we really encourage people to make take advantage of that opportunity so I guess the message is that they're all looking for something to do and you can definitely get involved and benefit from this year's cruise season if you would like more information all you have to do is go to our website www.tourismente.com.au